Hello folks, I just want to speak to you about salvation, which is so important. It's has a great influence on my life. So I just want to share with you, salvation is our hope and joy as followers of Jesus. We receive God's great gift the moment we believe in Jesus Christ, sacrifice on our behalf. God invites everyone to believe and receive eternal life through Christ. But salvation is also a daily gift we can receive from the Lord. We continually experience the renewal of our hearts and minds through the ongoing work of God in our lives. Do any of these verses excite you, which I'm going to read, to give you renewed joy in the salvation which you have in Jesus Christ? I shall read some verses for you now. Psalm 91, 14 to 16. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honour them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Ezekiel 18 verse 21 If wicked people turn away from all their sin and begin to obey my decrees and do what is just and right, they will surely live and not die. John 3 and verse 3 Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Acts 16, 31 Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Romans 5, 10 Since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his Son, while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his Son. Romans 10 and verse 9 If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Titus 3 verses 4 to 6 When God our Saviour revealed his kindness and love, he saved us not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth, a new life through the Holy Spirit. He generously poured out the Spirit upon us through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Just as each person is destined to die once and after that comes the judgment, so also Christ offered himself once for all time as a sacrifice to take away the sins of many people. He will come again, not to deal with our sins, but to bring salvation to all who are eagerly waiting for him. That's Hebrews 9, 27 to 28. May you find blessing from these words from the Lord.